Welcome to Builder 411. I'm your host, Mike Eccles, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at load bearing walls. Specific three things. What is a load bearing wall? How do you determine whether that wall that you're wanting to remove in your project is a load bearing wall? And then lastly, how to remove that load bearing wall. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. Okay, this video, we are gonna talk about load bearing walls. I get tons of, of people asking me or and writing me, what is a load bearing wall? So let's talk about what is a load bearing wall. It's any wall that supports the load from above. So what does that mean specifically? In most structures, you have interior walls, and exterior walls, and certain walls within that structure will support structures from above. And what that is, is if you have ceiling joists that run across and set on top of that wall, that wall is supporting that ceiling. Therefore, that's considered a low bearing wall. And in many cases, if that, that ceiling is setting on top of that wall, most of the time, it is also supporting portions of the roof. And supports could be coming from those ceiling joists up to the roof rafters to support the, uh, the roof structure. And if you look at this picture that I'm showing you right now, you'll see in our demo right here that you can see where the joists are laying on top of this low burning wall, on this wall, that makes it a low burning wall. And then if you further look, you can see that there are also structures going vertically up to the roof beam and the roof rafters that support that. So when you put all that together, there's a lot of load on that wall. And if you come in there and just take that wall down, then that, all that structure from above is gonna come down. So that's what a load bearing wall is. Most, all your, not all your, but most of your exterior walls are gonna be a load bearing wall. And so for you in your project, you're trying to determine what is, is that wall that you wanna remove? Cause that's kind of the thing now is that we open up those spaces and we make them bigger. And so when you go to doing that, you have to remove some walls. And so you wanna know whether or not before you get started just ripping that wall out of there, whether that is a load bearing wall. And so how do you determine it? The best way to determine it, again, different people gonna do it different ways. What I would do is I would come in right above the roof joist up here and I would cut back, I mean the ceiling joist, and I cut back about two foot from that wall. And then I look up in there and see whether or not any structures are coming in and resting upon top of that wall. That is probably the most efficient way to do it. Yes, you can go in the attic. That's another way. You can climb up in your attic, knowing which way your wall runs, and then you can see whether or not those ceiling joists are running in the opposite direction of your wall. And if it is, then that's, again, going to be a load-bearing wall. But you can also, from the exterior part of the house, if you've done this enough, you can kind of look at where the gable comes together. And most walls that run uh, parallel with that gable is typically a load-bearing wall. And what is a gable? It's just where two roof points come together, and that becomes a gable. My preferred method is because you're going to demo it anyway, because you want to move that wall, just get go up to the ceiling where the ceiling and the wall meets and just cut you a two foot opening and take a look up in there whether or not you have any structure resting up on that wall. Like in this picture right here, you see that this is a this is going to be a bathroom wall, and in that wall right there, there is no structure resting up on there. So that's an interior wall with no, it is not a, a load bearing wall. You can remove that very easily. But on the other side of that, this image right here will show you that this is a load bearing wall and you don't want to remove that wall without first doing some things structurally to do that. So let's talk about now that you've determined that you've got a load bearing wall. If it's a non load bearing wall, it's pretty easy. You can just go ahead and remove that wall then you won't have any problems. If it's a load bearing wall, please listen to what I'm about to tell you. 
you know, I sit here and I, and I have these videos for all of you to try to teach you and inform you. But when we get to certain things, I try to tell you, please take note of what I'm about to say. And that is, if you're going to move, remove a low burn wall and you've never done it before, it is worth you going out here and hiring a contractor and having them do that for you. Because here's what typically in, in most of today's uh, remodels, when we're removing a wall, what we do is we do what is called a laminated beam. We take and cut the, and put supports on each side of that wall. We take and remove that wall and then put a laminated beam in there. Now it sounds kind of simple, but that is a very complex process. You got to know how the thick and deep that beam needs to be. You've got to put support to that, that beam is going to rest on, on both ends. And then you're going to tie your uh, ceiling joist into that laminated beam. And I'm just telling you, for those of you that's just doing this as, you know, trying to save some money, this is just one of those areas that it's just not worth you taking the risk. So go out there, find a good contractor and have him come in and put this in for you. And then you can move on with your project because it's just not, it's just not worth it. Okay. There's a lot, of, a lot of things that you as a do-it-yourselfer or a weekend remodeler can do. This is just one of those skill sets that I say you ought to leave it to the experts just because it, they, they're, they're better qualified for it. And this is a skill set that requires a lot of technical knowledge and a lot of expertise. And most of us that do this on a weekend and are just doing this to remodel your own house, um, this doesn't have that skill set, so don't don't take that chance. Again, if it's an interior wall and it's not a low burning wall, those are very simple to remove. And yes, just take those out, start cutting the studs out, and remove them, and you can open that right on up. But the low burn walls, please, 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 just go get you a professional. Let them do that heavy lifting for you on that, and then go ahead and finish your project. So, I hope that you found this video informative today. If you did. Share me some love. Hit the like button down below. And until next time, I'll keep teaching, you keep building.